why am I even here talking to you? How do you get over your fear of getting out of your comfort zone? Or how am I working on the self-confidence and videoing myself and sending out where other people watch me? People go look at you anyway. Oh yes, I have to remember that. When I started running, when I started getting out and running and doing exercising in classes and working out, how did I get over that fear of working out in front of other people or running in front of other people? <sighs> Simple. And I needed to apply that to right here, right now with videoing myself for you to see me. And I've done plenty of videos, if you look at my channel, but I think I really lacked a lot of self-confidence. And I still had in the back of my mind, people are going to judge me. People are looking at me. Do I really have what it takes to be a YouTuber? I don't know. Um, so, what did, what, how did I get out? I, I, I got to, in my mind, and, and I feel like God spoke to me. He said, people are going to look at you anyway. They're going to look at you anyway, whether you're walking in the grocery store, down the street, no matter what you wear, people are going to look. People are going to look at you anyway. People are going to judge you anyway. It doesn't matter. you got to stop being terrified of people. I've got to stop that. I'm shy, but I'm not shy. So it kind of confuses me about myself. Where... Well, who am I? What am I doing? You know? And same when it goes to marketing my business, my company. How do, you know, I, I'm kind of afraid of no's. Afraid of people scaring people off, scaring friends off because I'm afraid that they're going to um, not be my friend anymore because I ask them to check out my company. Or... Uh, try my personal training. I can't, I got certified in a personal training a couple of years ago and I have yet to have actually have a client other than myself. I can't even get my daughter to let me help her. <sighs> Sometimes your family is, is oh, you can't train your family. I mean, people don't listen to you, right? Especially kids. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of, of working to tell you the truth. I'm, you know, just watching for clients or customers. So, I need to apply the principle of how I got out of my fear and out of my comfort zone when it came to people watching me exercise or run. And I need to apply that to myself right now with marketing my company and doing these YouTube videos. And then I'm scared to post them for my friends to see a lot of times. I don't know who all my subscribers are. I don't know who you all are because I don't really want to know, I don't think. Because if it's somebody I know and you're, yeah, I feel like, you know, because we all judge everybody. Everybody gets judged by everybody. You're, whether it's, it just doesn't matter. And if, you're so afraid of people looking at you and judging you, you'll never leave your house. And then people will still judge you because you don't leave your house. So if you hide from the world, they're still going to judge you. It doesn't matter if you wear a tent or wear a string bikini. Somebody's going to look at you. They're going to say, well, she's wearing a tent and hiding her body, so therefore she has no self-confidence. And she doesn't feel good about herself and then if you're wearing a bikini they're going to say you know she's advertising or she's um has no modesty in her at all and modesty is all in the heart anyway doesn't matter maybe the woman wearing a tent you don't know how she is behind closed doors you know, and she probably watches some of them YouTube videos. That's very immodest. So she might have immodesty in her heart. Especially if she's reading or watching things that wouldn't be considered appropriate by her friends or family. So 
so people will judge you anyway. You know, and I think about the videos I watch on YouTube, why I'm drawn to them, or, you know, I like to gain knowledge. And I like seeing transformation videos. I like seeing videos with workouts in them, and that's why I wonder, do I really want to be a personal trainer? I don't know. I, I do, but I don't know. I need to just get out of my comfort zone and apply that principle again. What are you afraid of? People are going to look at you anyway. You might as well give them something to look at. Jesus didn't care who was looking at him. People judged him anyway. But he didn't let that stop him from doing what he was called to do. Any of the great people of this whole world in history got over their fear of what other people would think. And they weren't offended by every little thing. And, oh, don't get me started on people being offended. I've been watching more videos on offense and how the devil wants people to be offended by other people. That causes more strife and division. But yeah, just thinking about that. Thinking about what got me started exercising in the first place. What got me started in running in public. Running and fitness in public places. It, and, and how did I get over that fear of people watching me. It just occurred to me a moment ago that I just I need to stop that silliness, really. It's just a silly idea that being afraid of what other people think. That's what I'm going to title this video. Something like that. Why are you scared of what other people would say about you? They're talking about you anyway. Might as well get over it. But yeah, I'm going to have to start thinking about this more and gather myself and remind myself daily. If I don't market me, nobody else will. So you guys have a great day. And I hope you will get over that fear. Do something to put yourself out there. Don't worry about people. People are going to be people. They're not they're not sometimes if they cared about you they won't judge you for being you so go be you today bye if i can stop this video